Hello guys, today we're going to take a test, I guess. I don't know, I found this website and I wanna take tests. I tried a test here, it's called the racism test, this one. It's bad, it makes no sense, it literally makes no sense. No, I'm not, I'm not joking, it makes no sense. Probably this one makes no sense to gender tests, it's like, oh, how sexist are you? Like, it just, it thinks that people can't fit their racial stereotypes. If I say they can be, I mean, am I wrong? Black people can like fried chicken. It's just wrong to assume that all of them like chicken. And I say, oh, it's okay to portray some black person as liking fried chicken. It's okay, it's possible. It's like... No, it's not okay, it's so racist, oh my god, fuck you! Okay, moving on though. I'm gonna take a test. Which... Trauma test, yeah, I'm so traumatized. From that fucking test, I hate that test so much, yeah, I understand. Girl, I hope you understand. I often feel like I need to be on guard or constantly aware of my surroundings, even in seemingly safe situations. Literally not me. I'm just so relaxed all the time. I'm so relaxed. I don't know why. I struggle to feel secure and independent in relationships. I have never been in a relationship in my life. And I don't plan on getting a relationship right now. Like, maybe 25 years old. Mi minimum. Minimum age. Okay, whatever. No, I, I'll say I wouldn't really be insecure or dependent. I have a great difficulty getting close to people. No, no, I'm pretty good at getting close to people. It's just I, I can't really say the first words. You have to come up to me and speak to me. Then I'll just take the conversation away. Until my social battery runs out, of course. I become overly critical of myself if, if I make even a minor mistake. Depends. Usually, yeah. Like, a little bit of a greed. I am my biggest judge. I have a heightened sense of responsibility, often feeling like I need to fix things or take care of others. Not a heightened sense, I mean, I do sometimes need to fix things and take care of others. But I don't feel responsible to that all the goddamn time. I have myself, you know. So no. Or, yeah, no. I struggle to believe people's promises or commitments fearing that they'll let me down. No, literally the opposite of me. Even a person is like kinda dishonest, I'll be like, I'll trust you one last time, man. I'll trust you, okay? Like, literally the opposite of me. I just care about people. When faced with challenges, I often find myself engaging in harsh self-criticism and negative self-talk. No, I'm an amazing person. I do know my weaknesses and wrongs, but that's not quote-unquote hate, you know, negative talk. What was it called? Negative self-talk. I struggle to unwind and de-stress after a hectic experience. Hectic experience? What does that mean? No, I don't. I, I don't really struggle to relax, as I said. I often feel unlovable or unworthy of love. Literally not me. I deserve love. I am quick to calm down after I've been worked up or angry. Yeah, I have mood swings. When a task requires a lot of effort, I tend to avoid or delay getting started on it. Yeah. Literally what I'm doing right now. Bro, I have so much work. I have secrets that would surprise or shock others. No, like, my only secret was that I masturbate Nothing really special. I mean, other people always masturbate, even animals. 
So I don't think that's a crazy secret or something. It's not even a proper secret anymore. I'm not good at hiding things or telling lies. No, yeah. I have a hard time trusting people, even those who seem close to me. No, I trust people very easily, as I said. I have difficulty accepting compliments and tend to deflect praise from others. No, I actually surprise people by accepting compliments. They're like, Oh, you're so handsome. And they expect me to say something like, Oh, no, 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 thank you. No, I literally say, Yeah, I know, thanks. Like, I am handsome. That isn't a surprise. I know myself. I get extremely annoyed when things take longer than expected. Mm, I don't know. It says extremely annoyed. I don't think I get extremely annoyed. I'm gonna disagree a little bit. I realize that I sound kind of narcissistic by saying, Oh, I accept compliments and all that. I don't think I sound narcissistic. No, I do actually. That's why I mentioned it. But I don't, I, I'm not narcissistic. That's just literally what I am. I'm just accepting the truth. Just to clarify, I guess. I avoid relying on others for help or support, preferring to do things myself. No. But only a little no. I I kind of do want to do things myself. Minor inconveniences, such as spilled coffee or drop phone, yeah, lead to soft feelings, strong feelings of anger or annoyance in me. No, it has to be a build up of anger or annoyance. Like I had to have a really bad day for that to be really maddening or infuriating to me as a normal person is i mean no yeah no i tend to be overly attached to people i care about fearing they might leave me no i'm uh, see this is what people who cheat in relationships do they're like oh i don't want them to leave but i want to have sex so much or they're like Oh, I want more love, but I don't want to leave him, or her, or them. See how inclusive I am? Okay, stop. I tend to be overly attached. No, I don't. I am attached, but I'm not overly attached. I feel a strong need to stand up for myself and others, even in seemingly small situations. Like, in jokes? Like when someone makes a joke? No. I don't know what I don't know what this means. Like what is, what is a small situation? What does that mean? Oh my god No I'm not mad, that was just a random sound. I I stretched while saying oh my god. I feel a strong need to stand up for myself and others. Do I? Really? Do I? Hmm, do I? Like, what the fuck does this mean? Like, defending opinions? No, I... I'm pretty humble. That's a pretty non-humble thing to say, but I am humble. I'm just saying the truth to you. So... I don't protect my opinions like I'm some sort of fucking guard, king's guard or something. No. I'm gonna say no. But I'm gonna say no. I find it difficult to share personal information or open up to others emotionally. No. No, I don't. I have a tendency to push people away before they have a chance to reject me. Like... Give me an ex example brain, like, yeah, I'm asking my brain. Oh, look at my cat. He's so cute. Wait, I'm getting distracted again. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what this means. Like, do you have a crush that you like? That no, I have a crush that I like. Then. I go to her. 
no i don't go to her i i like i think she will reject me then because of that i don't really interact with her is that what this means because i did do that exact thing but it's because i don't really want to be in, in a relationship anyway it's really just not in my control to have a crush like having a crush is literally uncontrollable but i don't want a relationship look i don't i think with my head not with my dick or pee pee i'm a pretty smart man i'm not going to have relationships at this age the age of 16 like i still have a long road ahead of me and all that okay where is this going i spent like 2000 hours on this question um yeah little bit i don't know neutral i find it easy to form close relationships and trust people yeah i i do i sometimes struggle with commitment in relationships fearing intimacy no i don't fear intimacy i tend to my cat is meowing right now i know i don't know why oh hello he came into my room i tend to make careless mistakes when i have to work on a boring or difficult project what does that mean sorry my attention is just diverted right now to my cat probably i don't know i'm gonna say a little bit of agreeing i'm i have many fears about my future actually no i don't surprisingly I am hyper vigilant to subtle changes in others' behavior, searching for signs they might be pulling away. What does hyper vigilant mean? What are these words? I may not just know English. Hyper vigilant. Yeah, okay, that probably means super high attention to detail. I don't really psychoanalyze people. I'm not. A crazy person unless you want me to I don't really do that I just kind of speak to you and then I do I do mentally analyze the conversation though so I'm like oh how do I keep it going how do I keep talking to this person or how do I make this person feel love but like that I don't really psychoanalyze you so so, I'm not like super sensitive to your behavior, not searching for signs that you might be pulling away or anything, you know. I'm often very critical of the people and things around me. Critical? Moist critical. Well, I'm not moist or critical, so no. I often worry about my loved ones coming coming yeah coming coming to serious harm what does coming to serious harm mean coming to harm hello is that even a sentence yeah it isn't a sentence it's like a statement or something i don't know i can't find the word oh my god this is making me I don't know man no I don't people might be like oh my mother isn't answering the phone is she okay no is she okay I'm like oh she might she must be busy I'm not like seriously worrying about like the worst things I might be pessimistic but I use my optimism more sometimes I am quick to forgive and move on from situations that seem unfair letting go of past hurts huh. you literally say I am quick to move on and say letting go of the past hurts 
What? Then you don't move on quickly. You're just lying. The question has mental problems. What? The question is supposed to be like this unfeeling question, not a person. But this question contradicts itself. Literally saying letting go of past hurts. That literally sounds like a therapist patient. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I don't know. Like some of these questions just make no sense because I can't make sense of them. I don't know what they mean. This question contradicts itself. Yes. Also, I am quick to forgive and move on from situations. It happened. Okay, like it happened. But it says letting go of past hurts and I'm agreeing with that. that. It's probably gonna say I have 55 mental problems now. I don't know. I generally feel safe and secure when going about my daily business. Yes. Yes, I do. I sounded a bit depressed there. I just had no emotion. I feel embarrassed or humiliated by certain things from my past. Yeah. I mean, most people do. I also do. But not always. Like, when it comes to my mind. Yeah, like, for example, right now, something really embarrassing came to my mind. But I don't really care. So, yeah. Segui. I tend to give up easily when Facebook setback. Mm, not that much. I'm gonna say a little bit, but not that much. I accept help from authority figures and trust their judgments. Sure. For example, I could trust my doctor or manager or the government. I can't really trust the government, but I do need their help. What are they gonna do? Do something illegal? Like the government can't do something illegal. That makes no sense. I mean, yeah, it makes no sense. I'm not back. Not oh my throat hurts. My mind tends to wander and daydream whenever I have to do something uninteresting. That's so true, like right now. This fucking test is stupid. I tend to misplace or have difficulty finding things at home and at work. Oh. I don't know. Why do I keep yawning? Maybe because this is boring. I don't know. I'm having fun talking, not doing the test, really. This test isn't really that exciting. But I do like answering questions about myself, so... What am I even doing? I don't really have an audience, do I? <laughs> uh, maybe someday I'll be popular and... All my fans will watch this, these past videos. And they'll be like... Huh. Ironic, he's saying that he doesn't have an audience, but he has a bigantillion subscribers. I don't know. I tend to misplace or have difficulty finding things at home or at work. And now, no, I don't. I frequently worry excessively about potential future events, fearing that the worst might happen. No. I did. But it got way less worse. It got way better. Yeah, that's a better term. Uh, uh, I don't know. What what was I saying again? I'm so distracted. Yeah, no. But a little bit. But it got better. From past maybe. If it was the past, I'd probably say like here to here. I'm often unable to stop my worrying or control my worrisome thoughts. 
Again, this is com very better compared to my past. I am able to control them, but let's say a little bit. If someone does me a favor, I worry a lot about having to return it, like having to, re like forcing myself to return it. I don't force myself. I like say I should because it's good. I don't worry also. I often feel like I'm on the outs of social groups, even when surrounded by people. You know, if I'm in like my friend chain, like my main chain, friend chain, I'm like the king. I'm I'm the king of the forest. I'm I'm the the, the, the master, I guess. I don't know. No. But but sometimes in other social groups, yeah, kind of. It takes a lot of work for me to feel calm and relaxed. Again, as I said, I'm just naturally calm and relaxed. Let's look at the results. Am I traumatized? Oh my god, adult inattention. What the f does that mean? Am I fatherless? I am fatherless, though. That is true. Childhood rejection. What? Feeling constantly disliked or excluded by peers or caregivers. What? That is so not true. What? There is no way this is true. No, no way. Yes, I don't have abandonment trauma. That's, that is true. Betrayal trauma. Not childhood, but I do have betrayal trauma. I don't know if it's trauma though. I did get betrayed. Injustice not detected. Whoa. Adult frustration. Feelings or annoyance with being unable to change or achieve our or something. Oh. Hmm. But my needs were met. I had a good enough childhood. I was kind of fatherless though. I am fatherless, like very low adult anxiety, restlessness, and constant worry about everyday situation. Okay, what's this? Adult inattention. It's apparently high. Disorientation in the face of chores or tasks. Scattered thoughts and the inability to focus. Oh, that is true though. I, I am not able to focus that much. Do I have ADHD? There's no way I have ADHD, no. I'm just not interested in this test, okay? This test is very stupid and weird or maybe it isn't maybe i am stupid it just feels like like what is this i don't have anything childhood rejection how am i rejected like i don't get that by my father my father didn't really give me uh, feelings wise attention he did buy me stuff, but that's kind of not how relationships work, so... Pardon me. Oh, we have like a minute anyway before the video ends. Uh, final thoughts. Pretty... Accurate? I don't know. Inattention? How is this high though? Childhood trauma in practice in my... But which trauma? What kind of trauma? I don't give what kind of trauma this is. Interesting. Really interesting. Anyways. 
I guess I'll see you guys again or in another video, which I'll do whenever I want. But probably never because I'm in extreme danger. No, I'm not. But... Okay, bye now. Let me close this. How... Oh, oop.